Happenings. I'm Mayor David Black. The city's fire department got to do some real-time training with a live burn compliments of a donation of a house. You hear from the fire chief and about how important and appreciated this type of training is. And the local school district says goodbye to a long-time elementary school principal. And again with the school, the district has received many state and national awards the past couple of years. You'll hear how the district maintains its consistency. These stories are next in City Happenings for the week of June 22nd. Thanks, Mayor Black. The city's fire department recently held live burn training. Live burn training is invaluable because of the real-time challenges. The big thing today is the wind. Uh, temperatures are really just about perfect. Uh, once you get all geared up, you really don't get cold. So that part's okay, but the, the wind today is a real challenge, not only for the exposures, which means the buildings around the area, that the houses that we're burning, we have to pay special attention to that, but also the wind, what the wind does in a building that is burning. Uh, the wind will affect the fire movement, the smoke movement, so uh, to be able to practice on a day like today with a pretty strong wind, it really does have a lot of benefits. A live burn allows for many training scenarios. You can see the uh, plywood up on the roof of the house. Uh, that's ventilation training. We get crews up and cut holes in the roof, which is great training. You know, we have simulators that can do that, props that we build at ground level. But until you get up on a roof and actually cut a hole in it, uh, it it's really hard to duplicate that training. So the ventilation training has been important. Then we've also done a lot of search and rescue training. Uh, we have a smoke machine that we're able to bring to the houses, fill the house with smoke, and do rescue training that way. So in that limited visibility, another thing that we can duplicate to some extent in a training situation, but when we get a real structure and can fill it with dark smoke, that, that really provides a realistic sense of what's going to happen in a fire. Chief Bose talks about the benefits of this type of training. We can start with uh, bringing a crew from Omaha down because we don't normally, don't, that's not something we do very often that we have a chance to do. Uh, in this case, we, we had Omaha Engine 31 from 25th and L came down and went through the trainings with us, which was very good because it got our guys working with their guys and with all the mutual aid that we're doing anymore. The more familiarity we have with the other crews, the better we're going to be. So that was a great benefit. Papillion is fortunate to have people who donate buildings for live burn training. Great big thank you to the individuals and businesses that do that. When a house needs to be cleared, they have a choice of demolishing it, hauling it away, or letting us train in it, burn it, and then haul away the limited debris that's left there. So it really is a great benefit to those individuals and businesses that do that, but it's a, a terrific community service that they provide to us to let us get better at our jobs so that if a fire does occur in the structure, we can really minimize the damage because we can rely on the training that we have. Tara Heights Elementary Principal Pat Zymet retires after nearly 40 years in education. She says it doesn't seem possible. No, it doesn't. As the time goes by so fast. It, it's unbelievable. Zymet says it's not an easy decision to retire. It's mixed emotions. Um, you want to end your career before people say, when is she ever going to retire? Um, but as you, as you said, um, as I look back, I know that I've left a mark in education across the state of Nebraska. I've had um, 37 years in education. Um, all across the state of Nebraska, as I said, um, from being a classroom teacher for um, 13 years, special ed, um, K-12, to being an administrator for 25 years at the elementary level. And um, you don't realize the impact that you have by some simple thing that you maybe said. And I, I just have enjoyed my tenure of making a difference with children and it's with staff um, and hopefully creating um, master teachers and um, citizens in our community that go on and become successful um, in their career choices and most of all as parents or whatever they choose to do. She has no immediate specific plans. I don't know. I said at this point right now I'm just not saying yes or no to anything um, and what I plan to do is to do whatever I want to do whenever I want to do it. Um, my husband and I will be celebrating our 40th anniversary this year so um, and like I said I've been working for more than 40 years and so it's 
it'll be different um, to take some time to enjoy all the work and efforts I've put in, my husband and I have put in, and to um, rekindle our relationship. And there's lots of places to, we want to see and, and things we want to do. Um, we're both, we love golfing, and so there's a lot of golf courses out there that are calling our names, and there's a lot of golf balls out there that want to get hit and lost. At this point, we're just being kind of open, and um, whatever we feel like doing, whatever, um, we want to do that, but like I said, there's a lot of places out there, um, and we and our family are very important to us, and we want to spend time with them. The Papillion La Vista School District had an outstanding year being recognized. One award is the District of Distinction. With retirements and people leaving, how does the school district maintain its consistent level of success? Well, I think I can answer that question because um, I'm going to be departing here in uh, June, I'm taking the superintendent job at North Platte, Nebraska. Congratulations. And, and what I'd like to say, when you build systems of success, regardless who comes in, and you sustain and maintain those systems, you're going to continue to get results. Six years ago, we uh, um, built these systems, we tweaked some of the tw existing systems, but if you build a platform for success by building systematic uh, processes that get results and you sustain those processes, you're going to continue, you're going to get that sustainability regardless who steps in this in, in the leadership role. We'd like to thank everyone once again for helping to make a billion days of success. It was our 68th celebration of our annual festival. Thank you to everyone and all of your support, whether you were a sponsor, an attendee, city staff, volunteers, or just anyone who worked the event. There are lots of ways to stay up to date with what's happening in the Papillion. You can find us on Facebook, follow the City of Papillion on Twitter, or even watch our YouTube channel. And information about all of our departments and programs is available on our website. For more about Papillion, go to www.papillion.org, or just call the Mayor's Hotline at 402. 827-1111. Thanks for watching.